Hey guys, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Live on the Blackstone hibachi chicken and steak. I have marinated my chicken in soy sauce and honey. I have also marinated the steak in that Dale's uh, seasoning. So I'm gonna put that on first. I've got my heat turned on and a little bit of um, vegetable, I mean, olive oil on my grill. I'm gonna put my steak up here. And my chicken. I'm using bottom round steak. You know what? I think I'm gonna put it over here. And then I'll put my veggies down low. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit before I throw on any of the other veggies and the rice. Get some heat going here. If you are new to the blog and have not seen me use this black stain, it's really like a big iron skillet. Um, we have really enjoyed ours. Um, the, uh, my son and husband went and got it. Our, our regular grill just went to put. It had done its duty. And so, yeah, it's hot here this afternoon too, like kind of humid. But um, we have thoroughly enjoyed this one. And, um, it's a great grill for hibachi, for sure. But we've done breakfast on here. We've done hamburgers, chicken, um, you name it. So anyway, the boys just got here, and I was actually going to, um, maybe I can get them to do a taste test. They kind of come in and, like, veg, you know, like, totally take over the couches and such in the den, which is fine. But I have rice that I've already cooked, basmati rice. And I'm going to toss that on the grill with some egg and some soy sauce as a side for the hibachi steak and chicken. I can hear it kind of heating up here. I'm going to give this meat a toss. And I won't keep you live the whole entire segment. That might be a little bit long for you. But I will show you a picture of the finished product. Now the chicken that I bought is sliced thin breasts. Their breasts. And it was really thin. So I just kind of cube those and cut them up into smaller pieces. You know, the thing about cooking hibachi style is it goes a long way. I'm always shocked at how much we have left over, but that's never a problem if the boys are here because we'll, I'll send the leftovers home with them back to school. They won't let them go to waste for sure. We're missing one tonight. Well, two. We're missing Jamie and Christian, but we got DJ and Tavon, and of course, baby boys here as well. Um, I have um, cut up my onion and I've cut up my zucchini and I've put a little bit of soy sauce over the zucchini and some of this um, seasoning which is Sazon com Complete. Anyway, I like it. I got it at the Walmart. Okay, anyway, that's what I'm using. So, as this starts to heat up, I'm going to move it around a little bit and I'm going to throw my veggies on here in just a minute. And then I'm going to leave room for my rice. And I'm going to try to keep this meat kind of moving. Because I'm going to try my best to get it all done at one time. Let's see. Welcome to all the... Oh, thank you, Opa, for welcoming everybody. Let's see. I love that stuff. Yeah, the seasoning Tammy. Is that what you're talking about? I really like it, too. I had never bought it until this spring. And I spotted it, and I was like, I'm try that towel to wipe my face because it's hot outside but it's hotter over this grill for sure and you know I don't know about y'all I'm a sweater but I don't want somebody sweating and it beating up and dropping in my face so I'd much rather have a little do-rag to keep it from doing that I saw Michelle said I saw you at BJ's well hey there Michelle should have spoke to me at BJ's I had to stock up on some spices for the boys. They're, they're moving into an apartment, or have moved into an apartment, and they're establishing a kitchen. And so they have Mama's Always Right cookbook. They're, they're prepared for that. And uh, amongst the families, we're trying to get their kitchen stocked. So I went and bought, you know, staple type um, 
spices for them. Salt, pepper, garlic, salt, Montreal steak season, Montreal chicken season, stuff like that that they'll be able to use. This chicken is cooking really fast. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, I brought my two eggs out to put with the rice and we'll just set them there. I actually had three jalapenos that I don't know why I had them, but I'm gonna cook them on here. Um, DJ likes heat, so he'll probably eat, whoo, he'll probably eat these with no problem and probably add some sriracha sauce as well. I'm gonna add my onions with that as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my zucchini. Zucchini's kinda one green thing I can get all of them to eat. That's kind of a, is that in the way? I think it is. Anyway, that's one thing they'll kind of all eat, which is nice. Let me ask them to grab me a clean uh, pan. Hey, Spence, grab me a clean pan with a lip on it, please. Okay, I'm back. As this meat gets done, I'll put it on the pan. I wasn't going to cook it this soon, but I said, are y'all hungry? Yeah, yeah, we're hungry. So I said, well, let me get to it. We'll just have to save some for the imaginary farmer and for my oldest son, favorite son. They don't mind heating theirs up, though. They come in late when you're working on a farm. You work till daylight is gone. Can he hear me? Excuse me while I yell at them. Hey, grab me a clean pan with a lip on it. I don't think they heard me the first time. They're in there catching up on Yellowstone, which we're all addicted to. Let me spread this out just a tiny bit. Take this and put these in the, in the uh, sink. Oh, that's perfect size. Thank you. Right. Tell DJ I'm doing some jalapenos for him. What? Tell DJ I'm cooking some jalapenos for him. Anyway, um, let me spread this out just a little bit. I act like I gotta have room for the rice, but I can move stuff over. I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil to this side. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more soy sauce to the zucchini. I'm going to kind of lay them out as flat as I can so I can get those done. Steak is just about done. It's done enough for me, but most of my guys like it more on the well side. Blackstone is also great for when you want to grill large amounts of food because it's plenty big. It's plenty hot as well, but it's pretty big. Let's see, what did you season the meat with prior to grilling? Um, let's see, Jim. Um, I used Dale's seasoning for the steak. I'm going to turn that this way a little bit. And I used um, soy sauce and honey for the chicken. And you can see that honey coming out, that honey coming out, it's car caramelizing on the grill. Okay, 
I said I wasn't going to stay live with y'all the whole time, but it looks like I am. I am almost ready to take the meat up and to put the rice on and add the egg and some season to the rice. Come on down here, Zuki. There we go. That is finishing up very nicely. I'm wetting up a storm. Right, I'm going to remove these jalapenos. And I'm going to take this stove out too. And then the chicken. Smells great. There we go. Okay, now for the chicken. Hey, hey, hey! My favorite Wake Forest football player has just entered the arena. Come on this side so they can see you. You're alive. Yeah, this is DJ. DJ's mom was on earlier. Uh, DJ is number 46, and he is a, correct me here, tight end. Why don't I always say that? <laughs> so tell me what your job is, DJ. Yeah, defense, I tackle people. Oh, you're on defense, okay, because you like to wrap people up and tackle. Yeah. All right. And DJ is from Tennessee, and he is uh, Spencer's roommate. Now, look, y'all gonna have to pay attention when you come home now, cause uh, y'all gonna have to cook y'all's own thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know y'all don't have this at school, but you know, you're gonna have to start paying attention. All right, DJ, I'm gonna put this rice on over here. Go ahead and ta you're welcome to taste that chicken and that beef. Let me know how it tastes. All right. And I did those jalapenos for you and Tay. You know, none of mine like spicy, spicy. All right, over here, I'm gonna go ahead and start this rice and my eggs. Watch it good. Is it good? Man. Yeah. Awesome. I love it when y'all come home, DJ. Just makes my week a little less long. All right, rice goes on. This ain't bad for a makeshift uh, Japanese thing, is it? All right, let's get this egg incorporated into this rice. Let me try that beef real quick. Help yourself, honey. Did you get your uh, fruit in? Yeah. All right. Your pineapple. Woo! All right. DJ, on the, on the bar in there behind where I cook, right, like uh, that side, there's a butter dish. Bring that to me real quick, please. It's white. It's got a powder. Look good. I'm gonna throw some. Woo! That soy sauce lid just came off. Hey, how you doing? Get that out of there. Lord have mercy. Who knew? All right, I'm just gonna give this rice a talk. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to it when DJ gets it back out here to me. And then we're gonna be ready to eat here in just a few minutes. They better be hungry. It's white! Right there beside of you. Click to your right. Right beside the cookbook. Yep. Anyway. So I will show y'all this when I get it plated up. And maybe even let them do a taste test for you live if they feel like it. If I can bribe them into a taste test. Let me see that butter. Just open the dish up for me, baby. I'm just going to take a Oh, you know what? I'll just take all that. All right, you can take that back in. Thank you. All right, this is almost ready. Get this butter melted in that rice. I'm moving around a little bit. Now, look, I would have added snow peas to this and maybe even carrots, but I'm going to need it. That's the green stuff, they call it. So, that's what I'm doing tonight for my football players from Wake Forest. Fill them up, send them back to get ready for the season. 
get their veggies in. They've had some fruit. And they'll have honey bun cake for dessert. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this. Uh, it's plenty hot, sure. I'm going to cut the heat off of this thing and pull this rice up. I will not do that live. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off, off, and off. Anyway, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real hibachi style tonight, y'all. That's what's for dinner at my house. And hey, thanks for tuning in. We'll see y'all when we see you. Take care. Bye.